I'm Lynn. How are you? Today I'm feeling sad. It's because I miss my friends. How do you feel? To cheer us up, maybe we should have a fun story. This one is called Aliens Love Underpants and it's by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. I'm going to use some props in my story. If you'd like to make some too, you can. You can colour in some wonderful underpants or maybe make some aliens and you too can help me tell the story. Shall we have a go? Okay, so aliens love underpants. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size. But there are no underpants in space. So here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I bet you never knew. The spaceship's raiders beeps and blinks the moment that it sees a washing line of underpants flapping in the breeze. They land in the back garden, though they haven't been invited. Ooh, underpants, they chant and dance around in delight. They like them red and they like them green or they like them orange like Satsumas. But best of all, they love the sight of granny spotted bloomers. Mum's pink frilly knickers are a perfect place to hide. And grandpa's woolly long johns make a super whizzing slide. In daring competitions held up by just one peg, they count how many aliens can squeeze inside each leg. They wear pants on their feet and pants on their heads and other silly places. They fly pants from their spaceships and hold upside down silly races. As they go zigzagging through the air, it really is fantastic. What fun the aliens can have with pingy pants elastic. It's not your neighbour's naughty dog or next door's funny game when an underpants go missing. The aliens are to blame. But quick! Mum's coming out to fetch the washing at last. Whee! Off the aliens all zoom. They're used to leaving fast. So, when you put your pants on, freshly washed, nice and clean, just check in case an alien still lurks inside, unseen. Look 
at all those lovely underpants. I feel much happier now. I hope you do too. See you soon.